I knew I could always chill at Natalie's. Her moms wouldn't give a damn and probably wouldn't even know I was there. But the shit Natalie pulled with Bullet had me looking at her like she couldn't be trusted. Realistically, Natalie was a lifeline. She had information. What I could do, I decided was play her. Get to know what I needed to know. Tell her as little as possible and even throw her a curveball now and then. I definitely wasn't going to give her the pleasure of feeling like now me and her was on the same level. I would focus on the luchi, the cash, the loot, and just how I was going to make it. I picked over my cheeseburger deluxe for an hour and a half before I came up with the plan. The impatient waitress tried to clear me out of the diner by exhaling real loud like I was taking up too much space for the amount of money I was spending. The key to getting back on top was midnight. He had the $50,000 Santiago told me about. Even though it was Santiago's money and I didn't know how much of it he would need toward legal fees, there would be no harm in me getting my hands on the dough. I was not in jail, so I might as well be useful. The smart thing to do would be to flip the cash, invest it and double it at least. Then I could deliver the 50 grand to the lawyer and have a nice piece of change to set myself up as well. I would use Sterling for as long as possible, at least until I got answers to the big questions about my mom, pop, and sisters. I couldn't see him minding. He seemed to enjoy being used. I just pretend that all of a sudden I realized he was the one for me. He'd stare at me with those big dumb eyes and be happy. I had finally seen the light. Whatever chick he had there before, I came last night. she just have to wait. Eventually, she could have the man. I just wanted the pockets, the apartment, and access to his little putt-putt to handle my business.